to upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank. Today we're gonna bring an HP Elite X360. Uh, it's a 1030. It's pretty much an older generation, Gen 2, pretty much. 13.3 uh, inch monitor, which it's okay. For traveling, it's perfect. Now, this one has an i7-7600. Um, 2.8 hertz. Um, so it's 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 a little quick. It's a little fast machine. Now this one comes with an optional, right? You could get the eight gigs or the sixteen gigs. Thirty-two is rare to see it because it's soldered into the motherboard. Okay, like I said, uh, this one has a five twelve um, SSD RAM, solid state hard drive, Windows ten professional included, touch screen, everything else is included. Also, too, we're gonna take a look at it and see what you get when you buy something like this, and we're gonna open it up. We're gonna check what's under the hood too. So let's go ahead and, and take a look. So the whole screen itself looks really good. I like it. It's it's all like metallic compared to an apple it, it's just a lot smaller right it's a lot a little thicker but it's a lot smaller right so if we, this is good for perfect for school perfect for traveling business it, it's it's on one best thing i like about it is this when you open it up you no know, you can open it up use it as a tablet start writing your name on it you get your pen that you could also purchase and it doesn't have to be the hp pen right it could be pretty much there's a lot of multiple sellers out there third parties that sell the pen too so this system itself it's a, a completely over um goes over and you could just start writing like use it like a tablet itself or like i said a regular laptop now there's no 10 keys because they eliminated a lot of stuff trying to make it really small and um pretty much you know keep it everything compact that's what they're 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 shooting for now this one does come with a fingerprint read of course you just do that also you could even use your camera to identify you to log in too that's another optional too and there is another hd hd camera in here uh this one goes up to 7 7 12 up to uh it's not the 1080 so it, it, it's just basically for meetings that you're gonna have to attend zoom calls team meetings and all that stuff so um, if you can see the HP logo, that's pretty much where the actual uh, screen starts from here. So don't be amazed that, that there's nothing in here. It pretty much gets cut off from here. All right, so we're going to take a look at more in depth, of course. And the keys are really smooth, but they're a little loud too. Um, this is also covered in metallic. It's all metal in here, but this whole touchpad, it, you could do a lot of the features too. Zoom in, zoom out. Same basic like every other um, notebook that I've seen. Of course, uh, this compact. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the side and see what you can do on the side of it. On the side of the machine, if you can see it, it's, a, it's very thin. We're talking about maybe half an inch here and it gets thinner in the, in the bottom as you go to the front. Now here, you have a micro SD card reader. This is pretty much a memory card. If you have those micro SD cards, put them in there, read a couple of pictures. If you have a camera that holds out to that, or maybe your joy phone, you could just put it in here, of course. I like that little feature now. Now, they do give you a type C here, a type C, and this could be used as a charger, because if you see that lightning bolt, that's pretty much tells you that you can charge this station. But you could use this for other things too, for a docking station, monitors, and um, ethernet connection, all sorts of things. So uh, next to it, there's a lock feature here. You have your HDMI, um, and then right back here, you have your USB. And then uh, in the back, you can see your, your power adapter connection that you do that. So let's go ahead and flip it over and go to the back on the other side. On the other side, this is very important, especially if you're gonna be working in a government facility. These machines sometimes require an SD, SC um, card reader, pretty much. It's a identification cards as an encryption, a second dual uh, authentication system. Now on here, if you can see that, it, it, there's a SIM card reader in here. Pretty much if you are traveling, you could use a, a Verizon or T-Mobile or Sprint, they do sell the cards, the SIM cards that you go actually set them up and have this wireless anywhere. Uh, you could travel anywhere pretty much using their Wi-Fi connection. Uh, the same thing like a SIM card that goes into your phone, it will go into the system here. And of course, you're going to need third party software in here. So you're going to have to check your provider for that. Now, right next to it, your volume control. If you can, let me turn off the light. Right next to it, you got your volume control in here. Then you have your audio 3.5 jack. And you have another USB here. On in the back right here is your actual power button that you turn it on. So that's how you turn it on. 
All right, to remove the screws is very simple. Uh, pretty much, you're gonna have to remove one, two, three, four, and five here. Pretty much, two on each side, one in the center. Uh, it's very difficult to open up. You need something very thin. Uh, my best suggestion is always start from this end in the back here and lift up. And then with a, either something really slim, like a, it could be a credit card or a guitar pick, you could just come around the corners and lift up. All right, let's take a look at the model. And as you can see, it's an HP Elite Book X360 1030 G2, 13-inch uh, monitor, of course, but... This is an i7-7600, all right? So it's 2.8. So let's go ahead and review a couple of things in here. Um, first of all, if you can see the battery, it, it is a super large battery in here. And it takes more than 90% of the actual space of the actual motherboard space. So um, to remove it is very simple. You remove a couple of screws in here, but you got to unplug it first, all right? Any kind of issue that you're going to do or you're going to change out, you got to make sure you unplug the power first on all these things. Um, um, here's the SSD that we're talking about. This is 512 SSD. If you see it now, the RAM is built in the system. You're not going to be able to replace the system at all with any kind of RAM. So first time you're buying the computer, make sure you, you set it to at least eight gigs, eight, 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 eight gigs of RAM, or maybe higher 16 to 32 up to 32. You can go right now at the moment, but uh, most of, they don't have the option online. You have to call it in most of the times. Um, they're starting to finally. Um, it does have a little um, WAM connection here for a case you uh, replace the wireless card. But unfortunately, um, this one has a built-in Intel wireless card in here. And we're going to lift this up a little bit so you guys can see it. Right here is the Intel wireless card. It's a little small little chip in here. Um, so you don't need the, the actual larger one out here. So it's built in with the motherboard, solder in, as you can see. Um, CPU, GPU are built together into one. Only one fan coming in, so it sucks in the air in here and it pulls it out to the back. Uh, only one fan is with the copper connection in here is the only thing that's cooling off the GPU, the CPU and the GPU in here. So that's pretty much it is. There's nothing else you can add in here to upgrade. The only thing you can upgrade is the SSD. Um, that's pretty much you go go up to two or three terabytes even larger um, Battery can be replaced easily uh, Manufacturer on the batteries HP, but there's third parties available for um, Different types of batteries too actually, but I will recommend you stick with HP because um, It tends to be more of a, a better testing out in the facilities when they're building them um, less of, 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 of problems with this, but like I said taking it out from here removing all the screws and the screws have if you can see they have no details in here where to remove all the screws so you're not going to get into any kind of uh, issue now when you remove the battery there's a uh, adhesive in the back like some sort of glue or some sort of tape just remove it now one thing i forgot to point out on the actual um ssd there is a uh, there's a thermal tape a double-sided tape thermal um it goes in here so this pretty much keeps it cool as it is because there's not that much um, real estate to move or add anything in here. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's a good computer, you know, for those that are traveling really light. Uh, very simple, but like I said, if something happens, the best thing you can do is to replacing thermal paste when it starts overheating. It's come in here and blow some air in here and get all the, the dust particles that are stuck in here. If that's the case, it keeps overheating some more, then you're gonna have to um, uh, pretty much remove the screws and put some more thermal thermal um, paste in here. And it's very simple. This is only one piece. You don't really have to do it too much. You take the screws from here, here, and here, and here, and a couple of four more here, and it lifts up automatically. So you shouldn't have an issue replacing the, the thermal um, paste at all. But upgrading this machine, uh, like I said, there's only one, one area you can upgrade in. It's pretty much your SSD. And then, and unfortunately, the, the WAM is not really um, a powerful WAM that, that comes with it. But if you ever want to upgrade, you can. Right now, you just got to make sure you get the right proper measurements or buy from HP directly. Um, no other room for anything else. Um, like I said, memory is built in, solder in. Overall, this machine is pretty good. Um, very light in one way, but very durable. Um, dropped it once, dented a little corner here. But overall, picks up, ready to go. 
Uh, the glass itself, I like it that it's a little harder than other glass because um, it, it's a touchscreen glass. And of course, it's also meant to use in two in one. You can use it as a computer and as a tablet too. And the tablet feature is pretty good if you're on the field, taking some notes or also reading some blueprints too and writing the information down. These are pretty good for the field also too. But for traveling, they're even better because less bulkier, smaller, compact, 13.6 uh, inches of a monitor screen. Perfect for those people that are on the move. Um, for students, even better too, you know, for traveling, taking notes in class. Uh, this will come in handy, of course, you know, and the battery life lasts pretty much a long time. We're talking about six or seven hours um, after conditioning the batteries, you know, after two or three years, they continue to give you life for they start draining to two hours. And then by then, you know, if you see any swelling of the battery or the back end is coming off, it means that you need to replace it ASAP because um, there's been a couple of reports that they do swollen up in occurring uh, areas, especially in heating areas. Uh, make sure it's in a in a cool area because um, these tend to over these this material metallic uh, uh, aluminum tends to overheat a lot in um, in hot areas. So just make sure the same uh, kind of uh, environment you are in open to. Make sure that you have a good ventilation to this system. But overall, great machine, great computer. I like it. If you have any questions or any comments, I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.